kuna kuna ombi ningependa tufanye kabla ya mambo mengine ambayo yanakuja na ili ombi ningependa kila mtu ahusike I want everybody to be involved in this prayer it's a prayer that is intended to counter what I'm seeing going to happen but God is saying we can stop it I have seen the signs already but if we and it's also a call to all believers in our nation intercessors in our country men and women of God that believe that their prayer can produce this is our prayer that we must make I can see there is going to be that's if we don't pray there will be an increase of eliminations and assassinations in the month of November and December if the nation cannot pray this is something we can stop Praise God. And I make this call even to politicians because they are not safe. The kind of decisions we have made of the recent past as a country does not guarantee safety in the absence of God. The decisions that have been made in this nation, whether they were of necessity, all out of curiosity. There is no decision that has no attachment with it or to it. That's why when I look going forward, if we cannot stand and stop this, it might turn to be no more when in essence it's abnormal. I'm making this appeal to you because every time we pray together with you, something happens. I say, any time we pray, God listens. There could be many other churches that are praying. But let them do their responsibility. Ours this morning is to stop what we must stop by our prayer. The God who sent me to you. And this God that lives forever. Who will surely secure our nation. Abductions. The people are abducted and the next moment the report is about how they have died. I don't care their religion. But we must safeguard our lives. We must secure the lives of all Kenyans and our visitors within us. God has saved our country from calamity. God can allow our country to be swept by rains or anything else. But he has saved us from natural calamity. Why should we create artificial methods of elimination? And I appeal, this is the message from my heart, that it should meet the heart of any other person that is thinking of eliminating other people. Please change from that. Change from that completely. We can live together as a nation, each one of us enjoying. You can be offended, but I can say in Swahili, Hasira ni asara. Itakuwa asara kwangu, itakuwa asara kwako. And the kisses have a saying that simply means it's better to be patient until the right time. 
be patient all things will happen because the bible says all things happen for the good of those who love god all things may be negative may be positive but they happen for the good of those who love god i appeal to everyone that is here today god brought to you that you can pray that the killings that are going on in the country must stop And as you pray, also pray for the security apparatus. That their levels of intelligence and sensitivity can be helped. God can help them. Therefore, has created a team that is killing other people. We pray for them. They too need salvation. Would you pray for our country this hour? Can you be upstanding then? I know our country is well represented in this church. The 47 counties, you lift up your hands and stop the devil from what he has started to do. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please lift up your hands and tell the devil enough is enough. You cannot go beyond this line today. We draw a line today on Saturday the 26th of October 2024. Therefore, we are telling you enough is enough. There are more, no more political plans and assassinations in our nation. Any attempt to slaughter anybody from now onwards is hereby terminated and closed. Somebody lift up your hands and pray like a madman, like you are stopping the spirit of death. Keep for your revival. Stop the devil from what he wants to do. Satan will stop you. Please stretch your hands higher. We are protecting our nation and our own children. Father, have mercy on our nation. Have mercy on our, in our, to our country. Have mercy, Heavenly Father. We are your children. We cannot kill one another. You spirit of death, get out of the country of Kenya. Get out of our nation. Get out of our nation. You spirit of death, out of our nation. You are, we cannot create orphans. This is too early. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tafadhali mutu wa sinyamaze Mutu wa sinyamaze Usinyamaze nenolako hiro Itaokuwa taifa letu Itaokuwa wa Kenya Pamocha na wageni waliyo miongoni mwetu kama serikali Na kama taifa It is not going to happen. Every time you pray, Jehovah responds. Make your sincere prayer. Mahana ni namini watu wa hili kanisa. Wanaomba kabisa kwa roho na kwa kweli. Wanaomba kwa kujitolea. Atuwezi kumurusu shetani kutukanyagia jini. Tuliwekwa kwa taifa la Kenya. Kwa kwa taifa la Kenya. Kwa kwa mataifa ya Afrika mashariki. Katika jina la Yesu. Tuma maraika wapana kila kauti ya Kenya. Maraika wanaotembea na 
security na upanga wa security wakanyaga Nairobi wakanyaga kila mahali Bufia wakanyaga Kiambu kila mahali Central Kenya katika jina la Yesu Nakushukuru kwa sababu ya taifa la Kenya na kwa sababu ya watoto wako 
Natangaza amani na upendo na undugu kwenye taifa nzima la Kenya. Mapema kama kanisa tunakataa kuifutilia mbali na kuipiga marufuku roho ya kifo na roho ya elimination and assassination. Tunasema taifa hili litachurikana kwa wema na upendo. Alizachurikana kwa mawaji na kifo cha ghafla na pia na waombea wote wanaoshiriki shirikiana nasi kwa upande wa serikali kwamba Mungu kawaongeze hekima na utasiri na uwezo wa kuchunguza the power of intelligence discernment and ability to sense kwamba tuweze kuishi pamoja kama taifa na tuweze kupendana kama ndugu na natamka kwa kinywa changu kwamba upendo huu utaenea taifa nzima la Kenya tunaomba rafiki kwamba yale makosa tumefanya lakini tunaomba Mungu kuanzia siku ya leo ukatuongoze kama taifa kwenda mbele kama kitu kimoja na kwa utukufu wa jina lako. Ndoa chuki na asira kwenye mioyo yetu ukatuwekea amani na upendo kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Amen.